real world data is, is data on the use of a pharmaceutical product that is how it's going to be used in the real world. In other words, how it's going to be used by the physicians who will be prescribing it after it's approved in the setting that they'll prescribe it in, in the patients who will be taking it um, in a post-approval setting. The data can come from electronic healthcare databases, from claims databases, from prescribing databases. It's all about seeing how a drug performs in what we call the real world, outside of clinical trials. Clinical trials have a very strictly controlled patient um, input. You have strict inclusion and exclusion criteria, so you have a very narrow patient population. And your drug may perform completely differently once you get it out into the real world amongst real patients, patients with different disease severities, patients with different um, medications. Patient registers are a fantastic way of following up patients through over a long time period. So it's particularly valuable for rare diseases where you may have very little information or limited information about the drug at the time of authorization. By entering patients in a registry, you can follow them up over time and get very valuable data on the, the safety profile of the drug because there's usually quite a lot of unanswered questions, but also about the efficacy, how it's performing in the real world. And one of the advantages of having patients in a registry is that you can follow them up over time. There's been a lot of buzz around real world trials and real world evidence and how do we use that more effectively and can we collect these various types of data and actually influence the way we do research and maybe take more novel approaches. I think we can. I think we can.